Hello. It's been a couple of days, hasn't it? <clears throat> Not getting on here as usually as I usually do. Um well, I was reading the Bible last night. I'm about to get the Samson on Judges thirteen, chapter thirteen. But I happen to be watching some of the um I think it was the other night, Monday night, uh, or was it Tuesday night, or last night. But I was watching some of the um, the, the mini series, the Bible, and when the, the one I watched, the part I watched was whenever the uh, the cross the Red Sea, and uh, Moses had uh, had, had it begin to close and everything, and wiped all the chair tears out to the guys in the chariots and stuff like that and um the pharaoh was on the other side of the uh of the uh of the other end of the red sea going no ah! and all this other stuff and um it, it alludes in the bible that the uh, the um the pharaoh if you read in exodus that the pharaoh perished in the red sea with his army no. Uh, if not, um, it would seem to me uh, that later on Pharaoh might have pursued them either fur even further, probably maybe on um, trying to hire out um, the Malachites and whoever else and uh, the rest of the Egyptians to um, go and um, pursue the Israel, you know. Uh, going or going up the two a lot and coming on down the median and pursue them, <laughs> but that didn't happen. So either the Pharaoh was wiped out or the, he just lost heart and he couldn't do it anymore. And it doesn't seem that's the case. The latter doesn't seem the case. It seems the father, the former, was the, the truth. The Pharaoh was wiped out along with um, his army in the middle of the Red Sea. And um, there's been, you know, um, corpses and all the stuff, uh, salt down mummy and everything, and says it might be a pair of, of that time. Um, <clears throat> I believe it was um, probably the most second of something like that, but um, others might believe something else. But um, I do want to say about the Bible miniseries, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit ridiculous. It's redonkulous. <laughs> if you want to be like Shrek, you know. It, that's what it reminds, it reminds me of a Shrek down version of the Bible uh, because you see further how Joshua was um, going to the Ark of the Covenant, co covenant and um, he was praying there my son and um, you couldn't he couldn't Joshua couldn't go before the Ark in that manner it had to be covered and uh, it had to be in the tabernacle of all things, it had to be in the tabernacle. You couldn't go before it like that, and you couldn't sh flaunt it out like that. It had to be covered in that purple linen. So, um, I'm making my own Hi. Oh, you're cold. <laughs> ah! But anyway, I turned my phone this morning, so it's 32 degrees. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm trying to talk. I'm okay. trying to talk. Where you go? Okay. Bye. 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 Do it. Do it. But anyway, um, what? Well, yeah. Darkness. Shit. Redness. Shit. Whiteness. I have a dirty shirt on. Okay. But anyway, I'm trying to talk. But anyway, I'm um, walking through the Red Sea. I mean, after you finished with the Red Sea, Moses was greeted by the people. You know, it's like, yay, yeah, yeah, rubbing his head. Yeah. You know, congratulating him and all this stuff. And no, I don't think that what I thought. I don't think that happened. I think that they were all God fearing. They were celebrating, yeah, and um, singing a new song. Moses sung a new song. Miriam, prophetess, uh, was um, going about with other women, you know, praising God with tambourines and things of that nature. And uh, people, I'm sure, were on their knees. Praising God, crying, weeping with joy, um, not just rubbing Moses upside his head and everything. Yeah, we did it, we did it, we did it. 
because it wasn't them that did it. It was God that did it. God led them through the wilderness. If you look at Judges 11, 16, you know, Jephthah talks about that as well. Um, anyway, a lot of this stuff on the, on the miniseries is just not accurate. And if you're going to make a, a movie about the Bible, a miniseries, 10 hours at the most, you need to be accurate as to what the Bible says. Right? Well, yeah, yeah. Let me take a shower. I'm mad at my friends. <laughs> he stole the heart of the girl that I like. Oh my goodness. But anyway, it needs to be more accurate. It needs to be biblically, biblically based accuracy. As what the Bible says, that is what should be on display in the movies. Displayed in the series. In the miniseries. You know, and I, I think the best source of all is, of course, the King James Version Bible, not some kind of NIV or something like that, where the words are all changed up. And, I mean, you can, as I said before, a guy can take anything and give understanding out of it. But the thing of it is, the, the King James is the most accurate. And let me say also, while we're on the subject about this new pope that's supposed to be elected, uh, I saw this Catholic.org commercial and everything, and he was putting a link cross on this dude's head. That's bad stuff. And there's another one where he's talking about we compiled the Bible. No, you didn't. Com you Catholics didn't compile the Bible. It was the Church of England that compiled the Bible. So I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, there's my seven minutes of ranting. You got anything you want to say real quick? Hurry, 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 hurry. Darkness and redness and whiteness. Darkness and redness and purpleness and greenness and whiteness. Toby Turner. Sign off. <laughs> Alright, bye. No fun on Toby Turner. Just had fun. No fun, like just have fun. Fun, 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 fun. Shine bright like a duck.